Hey Sergi Radgies, how are you going? This is your general reading for August, if you believe that. If you're returning to the channel, hello. How are you going? And if you're new to the channel, welcome in. I hope you've received some messages. Um, from this, as always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So, let's see how you are going this month, my loves. Bottom of the deck, we've got facade to the outside. And impatience. Now, that's not very Sagittarius at all, so I don't know what they're talking about. And perseverance. There you go. So what we're trying to produce on the outside may not be coming as quickly as we want in the right way. So we need to get over being impatient about it. With all the planets in retrograde at the moment, that's basically the message is take a breath, review, adjust, um, you know, discard what isn't working, improve what is, look for new ideas, and um, then keep going. Don't give up, but just, you know, see where things can be put. Right, let's see. As usual, different. There you are. Look at you. They look at the same colour in there. Lovely colours. Action and Patience. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune, Princess of Wands, Lovers, Three of Swords, Four of Coins, Justice, Queen of Cups, the Chariot, Five of Cups. Okay, so outside not matching the inside you've got the wheel of fortune here so something's turned something's ended and now we're moving on to a new cycle you're in the princess of wands energy this wanting to get moving wanting to get a message across wanting to you know i think it's wanting for people to know and because the next three cards, you've got the Lovers and the Three of Swords and the Four of Coins. And that talks to me about broken hearts and hanging on to them or hanging on to the pain of the broken heart. Um, and wanting justice to come out. You know, it's, it's almost like when are, going to people, when are people going to realise what they did? When are, when are they going to show their true colours? When is this facade going to be exposed? And you're getting impatient about it because you know the truth, Sagittarius knows the truth, and they want other people to see it because they're not. Now, the thing is, you need to just run your horses back in a bit. Because I will tell you, that as far as justice goes, the truth always comes out. It always comes out. And you might not get to see it, but trust that it will always come out. And so you're being asked to step into the Queen of Cups. Now she's emotionally mature, she knows her own worth and it's kind of this temperance energy of balance you can still be your fiery passionate self but keep the, the fire moderated don't dive into angry and you know revengeful revengeful that's a good word. vengeful um, 
focus on how you want to be, who you want to be, regardless of what anybody else says, thinks or does, regardless of whether the truth comes out or not. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to look in the mirror and see at the end of the day? Someone who just knows the truth, knows that they did the best they could and that they didn't intentionally hurt anybody at the end of the day and that they can go to bed with a clear conscience? Or do you want to look and see someone who is angry and, you know, bitter and did things to force the truth out when that would just backfire on, on you? So pay attention to you now, not them, not what they did, not who notices, not who works it out, just you. How do you want to be and move forward in that energy? This is perseverance. This is the moving forward. Just keep moving forward. You are on the right track. You are moving in the right direction. This might, you know, there might be underlying grief here that you haven't looked at. Um, you might have just been in the anger cycle of this broken heart pain. Um, and so by letting that go and looking to yourself, you're allowing yourself to heal. And that might cause some grief. Then you've got the King of Cups. So you've got the King and Queen of Cups. And that might this might talk about somebody else better for you. Um, somebody of a higher vibration. And you might not be seeing them here with the Four of Cups. You might be looking at the past too much and going, when, when are people going to see this? And you're missing out on the big... You know the big picture you're missing out on not the you focused on these three pillar little things these three you know three swords three empty emotional cups and what they're trying to say is let that run its course just you know let the world see that for itself in its own time you focus on you because this is what we're trying to bring through to you this is what we're trying to get your attention and something's better coming in because it's definitely something better coming in. This is the Emperor and the Empress, the last two cards. This is what's coming in for you. Not this. This wasn't it. This was the lovers. It was kind of... And... See this card. See this person looking. It's like the real you was looking at it. It wasn't, it wasn't authentic and it was your higher self saying, mm -mm, no, it's just not right and you ended up getting a broken heart from that. But the good thing is that it forced you. Now look at yourself. Now focus on what you want, who you want to be and let the whole world unfold for you, okay? Because it is. Something's better coming. It's so much better. You, you, you've never experienced it before. This is, this is the duck's nuts. This is the real deal. Okay? Love, let me know.